hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in for years we've been enjoying products we knew little about we never bother to inquire about the production process never mind the raw material that goes into the product companies have gotten away with false advertising making us believe that they are selling a revolutionary product and it has been easy for them to deceive us simply because we also enjoy the luxury of buying a finished product without inquiring about its origin Recently, a lot of people have been exploring product development more and more. We see it visible on social media platforms, especially with the cosmetic industry. People develop products that meet their needs using quality raw materials and less chemicals. In this channel, we'll be discussing the product development processes, raw materials that goes into production, formulations and recipes. Click the button below if you want to subscribe to this type of content. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing about the production of paint. Of course, uh, the production of paint has changed over the years because we managed to develop uh, polymers and monomers and resins in the lab that can be used to fastly and efficiently develop paint. But of course, over the years, people have been producing paint for centuries. People have been using raw, ma raw materials and resources from natural things like plants, pigment, and obtaining oils from animal, and so forth and so on. Generally speaking, the main uh, ingredients that is used to manufacture paint recently is the acrylic emulsion, which is used as the binder of other raw materials. Today, I'll be discussing other raw materials. And first of all, I'm going to start with a thickener. Thickener is one of the main raw materials that are used in the production of paint. Um, thickeners play a very crucial role in um, the mixing and everything. It's um, a polymer. It's an emulsion like polymer. Most of the time, it's in a liquid form. It can also be in a powder form. It is added to the paint mixture to increase the viscosity of the paint. Thickeners are also known to ensure the stability of the paint after production. It makes sure that there is no uh, suspended particles in the paint or co coagulation of other raw materials in the paint. The next important raw material that is used is the wetting and the dispersing agent. These are very important uh, raw materials that are used because they make sure that other raw material can um disperse or can i say spread evenly into the mixture and make sure that they are there is an even reaction throughout the mixture because if you look at raw materials like the like uh pigment especially if it's like the uh the powder pigment they tend to clump together or not mix well with others a dispersion take care of that problem Dispersing agent also ensures that uh, there is no tension during application. It makes sure that uh, the mixture or the finished product as the paint applies evenly uh, during the application period. The next important raw material is a deformer. During a reaction and production and high speed mixing of raw materials, a foam can be produced through all of this and a foam is known to hinder particles to disperse evenly or it can interfere with the reaction or it's just not good for the production process. So a deformer is a substance that is going to take care of that. It's going to uh, dissolve uh, the foam away and make sure that your reaction is smooth and um, okay all the time. Next uh, raw material that I'm going to talk about is the film forming agent. They are also known as coagulants or softeners. Um, these uh, raw materials are used to minimize what we call the MFFT, which is the minimum film forming temperature. This is uh, very, very important during the application stages because it improves uh, the brushing performance of the paint. As the other name suggests, they are called, uh, the other names is softness, which means uh, they make the application to be soft, which is very, very vital uh, on the application stages. The raw materials that I've discussed are the main important raw materials that you need um, during paint production. Other raw materials also include water, which is uh, more preferably if you use distilled water because water is the mixture of everything. Water is going to make sure that everything mixes uh, well 
and make sure that uh, the water is distilled as I said but of course because nowadays we have different paints for different purposes other raw materials and additives are used now and then and most of the time we find ourselves using this like fungicides fungicides is uh, or bactericide or anti-mold agent is very very important because if you're going to st uh, store your paint for a very long time it is important that you use the fungicide so that it doesn't go bad quickly just so that you increase the shelf life of the paint other additives include a rust inhibitor. Like I said, it also will depend on the type of paint you're going for. If you're going for a rust resistant paint, then a rust inhibitor is uh, needed in the application in the production process. Other um, additives that people use are antifreeze. Antifreeze is also good to make sure that it improves uh, the temperature, the low temperature storage. Sometimes some areas are cooler than others. Uh, in the world, we have places where it's a bit colder, some places it's a bit warmer. So an antifreeze, if you're staying in a cold place, is very, very crucial. You're going to need it because uh, if your paint is going to stay in low uh, temperatures, you have to make sure that by the time you use it, it's still in the right condition. Other things include leveling agents, which are also softeners, if I'm not mistaken. They make sure that the end product is smooth, it doesn't have clumps, and it applies evenly uh, during the application period. So, all of these are the raw materials that you used. If you are interested in purchasing any of this raw material, please make sure that you check my website below. I am affiliated with our Chinese factories so we can help you buy the raw materials that you need at an affordable price. I'm going to be creating content on production and uh, a lot of things really on production. If you are interested in this type of uh, content, make sure that you subscribe, like and share. I'm trying to get this channel monetized and everything so make sure that you do all that is needed to do on my next video i'm gonna be taking different recipes that you can use for production these are for people who are interested to get into paint production and they don't know where to start most of the recipes the recipes and formulation that i'm giving are just for reference purposes of course you have to get in the lab and develop your own product and make sure that uh the features are as per your needs or as per your specification or as per your clients needs and everything but the recipes will be simplified enough for everyone who has no idea about paint to know their way around it and i just want to say um this is my first long video on this channel and i'm hoping this channel to grow beyond and beyond so i really need you to subscribe at the moment and that is all for today's video guys thank you Thank you.